Yep, I did. Uh, I was tested by the U.S. government. So I, I walked into this job and it said it was plating. And I was like, oh, cool, it's putting metals on top of other, other materials. And, you know, with acids and corrosives. And, oh, it was so fun. So, like, I learned 28 different processes on plating metals. So, like, uh, green chromate, blue chromate, gold chromate, clear chromate, just cleaning racks, and then they moved me on to passivates, and then they moved me on to, what was that? It's passivates, and then there's um, the black oxide and the, oh, what do you call it? There's another black one. I haven't done it in so long. And then there's... I was doing sulfuric dips. And doing a bright dip, which was a sulfuric and butyric acid mixed together. And that was blue. And that was for coppers and brass. And then I was doing nails. Like, you know a nail, and I was, I can't remember the process it was, but it has like a rainbow tint to it, then after they got me done plating everything in the building, they had me doing some other stuff, like uh, polishing metals, and like I was learning to do everything, and then they had me sandblasting, Everything that I do for black oxide, like for Bushmaster, and they they had people in there before that were running like one or two or three parts at a time, and I go in and I'd put in like I think it was sixty in a run. I could fit in that little tank. It was a little two and a half by two and a half foot tank, and I could fit literally 60 in the tank without them touching each other or touching the tank just right you fit them just right in there yep so like i love that job so much so much so much and it, it, it's just it's a science thing and you get to use acids and corrosives to like eat away the metal and like you can see it doing it the whole time pretty amazing work if I could do it I'd get back into it in a heartbeat but yeah so like for Bushmaster I became the top plater for Bushmaster and they wouldn't let anybody else touch it they wouldn't let them sandblast it I had to sandblast all my own stuff and then run it all and then make sure it was all perfect. It was me doing it all. Like thousands upon thousands of barrels. Then they had the conduits that would go to... What do you call that? Uh, the pipelines. And the pipelines leading to Canada. So then I had to do where the conduits connect to each other I had to do those connectors and they're like three and a half feet around and I had to sandblast all the welding seams yeah and then I had to plate them dull silver and then one of those that I plated dull silver um the somebody had a sticker like a, a piece of tape and it was stuck to the inside where it wasn't on the weld it was just raw metal and or raw steel and they stuck it on there and it was like from packaging and 
not like they meant to do it. And when I plated it, I didn't see the little piece of tape. So when I plated it, it didn't plate that. So it was noticeable. So I went and I dipped it in the cyanide tank. And when I dipped it in the cyanide tank, my boss was like, don't let it bubble. And when he said that, a bubble had trickled up to the surface inside the part and created a little void. And when it created that void, it bubbled out and like bubbled up in my mouth. And I had this big stain on my mouth and my boss looked right at me and he said, wow, I can't believe you're still alive. And they took me to the CDC and the CDC told me that I shouldn't be here that I should be gone. And I was like, what? And they're like, literally, they put me in like x-rays and they took like x-rays of my body at angles and flat and they could see the cyanide moving in my organs in, it was pretty nuts. So, Plating was one of the best things I ever did, but then it was one of the worst things I ever did <laughs> for my health. Like, I got uh, bright dip poisoning, the sulfuric and butyric acid mixed together. When you pull it out, it would gas. And they didn't make us wear masks in there, so we're like getting it right in our face the whole time. Made me sick for weeks. Get poisoned like that. Truly, it, it isn't good for you. But, yeah, I have the best fail rate. Nobody can beat me. It's one of the best things ever. To know that somebody who never graduated school went back to school and graduated and then went to college for chemistry. Like, wow. And to have like f the best rate, like it, it, it just fathoms my mind somebody like me doing that job and being the best in the country and nobody else even my boss had a 12.5 percent fail rate like <laughs> so all in all i loved working there it was great i, I couldn't have i couldn't ask for a better job truly have a grand rest of your day.